Today, GTV Live shows you ways to flatten the curve. Plus, we learn how to stay fit with Coach Champion. And we learn how to create a sweet treat. GTV begins now. Cowboys, I'm Megan Foley. And I'm Diana Hernandez. Today's Friday, April 17th, 2020. Welcome to another quarantine edition of GTV. Florida coronavirus cases continue to rise. We show you what you can do to help flatten the curve. Disinfect groceries with a Clorox wipe, then dispose of the bags. When opening up packages, be sure to dispose of the boxes right after and then wash your hands. Wear a mask in public to protect yourself. Over 100,000 people worldwide have died from coronavirus. Remember to take precautions to flatten the curve. With local gyms closed, many of us are looking for new ways to work out from home. We asked Gaither coach Kelly Champion for her recommendation on how to stay fit. Hello to all my Gaither Cowboys. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Um, I wanted to give you a few healthy options you can do at home. Um, I'm coming to you from a home gym, but if you don't have a home gym, there's so many other things you can do. I want you to look on Pinterest for at-home workouts. There's tons of free apps that I'm gonna go over with you in with, uh, just a few moments. Push-ups, sit-ups, lunges, mountain climbers, wall sits, um, tons of ab exercises. Don't forget your arms. Um, you can do a lot of body weight exercises. So what I've got right here today, we're going to go over a few apps that you can all download for free. Okay, the first one we have is RunKeeper. On RunKeeper here, um, you can link up with friends. It will track your running, biking, walking, skating, rowing, among other things. Um, you can also it will tell you your average pace, how far you've gone, and the time that you've accumulated for that workout. On MyFitnessPal, if you've ever taken my class, we've used this. It is to track all of your foods, and definitely don't forget your drinks. You can track your weight if you'd like to manage your weight, either adding or decreasing in weight. There's free healthy recipe ideas. You can track your macronutrients. Um, those are those nutrients your body needs to survive the large quantity of them. You need six to survive the three major ones are your macros and your at-home workout routines. There's some posted on there as well. There's another app called Health IQ. It's a great way just to have an um, easy, healthy quiz. It's all multiple choice. It tells you the right and wrong answers right after you answer the question and gives you a little background knowledge on tons of different topics, whatever you'd like to take. Um, that app is free as well. Some of you have used this in my class as well. It's called Yoga Wave. It is guided yoga for beginners. Um, you can just give it a try if you don't like it, no big deal. Um, the football players use this when we do our after school yoga training with them. They seem to like all the yoga activities that I've done with them in the past. So if you wanna try any of these apps out, again, Run Keeper, it'll tie directly into your health app on your phone if you have a smartphone. My Fitness Pal, Health IQ, and Yoga Wave. Now there are tons of other free apps that you can use that you can just go on the um, iTunes Store or Google Play and find whatever you'd like to do. Lastly, we're gonna go into my kitchen. I'm gonna give you a healthy snack. It's a great alternative to eating high carbohydrate and high sugar potato chips. Lastly, I'm gonna give you a tip to make a nice, healthy, easy snack. You need parchment paper, some Mexican cheese, or any cheese you'd like, shredded, any seasoning you'd like. Just simply spread the cheese out really thin. I'm gonna sprinkle some Tony Sachery's on here because that's the seasoning I like. Then I'm gonna preheat the oven to set at 375 when the oven's nice and hot. Just place your cheese in the oven and you're gonna wait 
about seven to eight minutes. Okay, instead of about seven or eight, I went about 15 minutes because I want my cheese to have a nice brown color to it. Kind of a light brown, almost where it's toasted. I'm simply just gonna take it out of the oven. You can probably hear it sizzling, bubbling. I'm just gonna let it sit there, get nice and cool. And when it cools down, I'm just gonna pop right off of that parchment paper and I can break it up into chips and have a great snack that is only one carb and zero sugars and plenty of protein. Hope y'all enjoyed my tips today. Y'all have a great week, cowboys. Bye. Cooking at home has quickly become the norm during the corona pandemic. Matt Friedel teaches us how to make a sweet quarantine treat. To start, you'll need frozen strawberries and some honey. Start by cutting your strawberries into two and then putting them into a blender. Put in desired amount of honey to your liking. Once blended, pour the mixture into a separate bowl. Put in the freezer and freeze to 30 to 45 minutes. Another great way to pass the time during quarantine is watching movies. T1 critic Joseph Rodriguez reviews Invisible Man on this week's Corona Classic Movie Review. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Corona Classics. And if you couldn't already tell by the way I'm dressed, today I'm talking about the 1933 film The Invisible Man. Based off the novel by H.G. Wells, The Invisible Man is part of the prolific Universal Monster series which created some of the most iconic movie monsters of all time, including Dracula, Frankenstein's monster, the Wolfman, and the creature from the Black Lagoon. Being among such iconic monsters, he's commonly overshadowed by his more popular co-stars. However, I think The Invisible Man is one of the more interesting films and monsters to come from this era of horror. The film is basically a character study of the titular Invisible Man, Jack Griffin, who is portrayed by Claude Rain. Griffin is a chemist who works under Dr. Cradley, along with his partner, Dr. Kemp. He is also engaged to Cradley's daughter, Flora. Griffin has been missing for a month, working on a private experiment that none of the others know the specifics of. They find a single note, a list of chemicals, including monocaine, a chemical that removes all pigment from anything it's exposed to, and, unbeknownst to Griffin, carries the side effect of driving people insane. This chemical is revealed to have been a main component in Griffin's secret project, an attempt to turn himself invisible. When we first meet Griffin, we discover that he has been self-isolating at an inn, where he is desperately trying to find the antidote to his self-inflicted invisibility. Unfortunately, due to interruptions from the innkeepers, he is unsuccessful, and his deteriorating mental state leads him to finally snap and go on a violent rampage around the countryside. He eventually comes to Kemp's house, where he asks Kemp to be a sidekick and partner in crime. After Kemp rats Griffin out to the police, he vanishes, and vows to kill Kemp at 10 o'clock the following night. Now, the hunt is on, and it's a race against the clock to find and capture Griffin before he can cause any more harm. By far the most noteworthy element of this film is the special effects. The effects used to portray Griffin's invisibility were extremely groundbreaking at the time, and still hold up today. The other most commendable aspect is Claude Rains' performance, as he was able to truly portray Griffin's descent into madness without showing his face until the last moments of the film. To wrap things up, The Invisible Man is an extremely entertaining film, with a captivating premise, interesting characters, and amazing effects. I thoroughly recommend it, and it's available for rental and purchase on YouTube, Amazon Video, iTunes, and Google Play, as well as streaming with a Shutter subscription. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Corona Classics. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a couple experiments to finish. Many of us are spending the day with our whole family at home. GTV reporter Jackie Custer tells us how her family spends their day together. Taking their daily afternoon walk, the young Titus and Soren Custer run ahead with the dog, while parents Kevin and Dawn stare at their shoes. This is a common routine after dinner, because everyone wants to get out of the house. 
Because school is still in session, Titus Custer is seen here doing his homework on Edsby. His work is being done on his parents' computer, and he finishes his task while ignoring Kevin Custer's lame signage. The family dog, Seven, enjoyed her alone time while the family was out and about, but now that her family is at home with her 24-7, she has been contemplating her lost personal time while wasting away on the carpet. Once Jacqueline Custer is done with her own work, she enjoys sitting on her balcony. One of the best parts of quarantine, in her opinion, consists of watching the dead grass grow in her front yard. Because of the stay-at-home order, the Custer parents have to work from home. Dawn Custer here is the most thrilled about doing her job, with her tea sitting loyally beside her. Quarantine is also a time for trying new skills. Cole and Victor give their take on picking up a new hobby. What's up guys? Welcome back to another installment of Quarantine Videos. I'm your host from the coast, Big Vic. Today's episode, we're going to be teaching you some key skills that will help you get through frustration out of your system and help you not be bored all day. That's right. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to skate. Tony Hawk, Nigel Houston, Eric Austin, who cares? That's right. By the end of this tutorial, you're going to be shooting up every park within a 20 mile radius and guaranteed to have a sponsor and make millions of dollars. Of course, I'm accompanied by my fabulous demonstrator, the one and only Cole Taylor, who will be showing you what it takes to ride with style. So to get things started, you're gonna to need to get yourself your skateboard. Now, if you don't have one, that sucks because all the shops are closed, so you're out of luck. See you next time. Now that we have all the posers out of here, we can continue. The key to riding is that you have to be as balanced as possible. So first, you wanna put your board somewhere where there's a downward angle, maybe a hill, maybe your garage, somewhere, anywhere. So you can make sure to get as much speed as possible. After that, you put your right or your left foot, depending on what feels more comfortable, on top of the bolts of your skateboard, and use your other foot to push off the ground. Remember to use your toes. Also remember to try and get as much speed as possible so you look really cool going down the street. When you're riding, make sure to have as much balance as you possibly can. You do this by crisscrossing your feet so that your legs are intertwined and at the very center of the board. Now, I know this looks very unstable, but trust me, we've done the science here. And this is actually the most optimal position for balance because Newton's third law of motion and uh, your center of gravity and uh, is at the center of the board and uh, who cares, this nerd stuff. Now, to stop your board and yourself, you're going to want to launch yourself off the board and hope that you land on some grass. It doesn't matter how fast you're going because over time, with more and more practice, your body and skin actually become immune to falling and scrapes. So you'll be able to send it off anything you want without having to worry about your flimsy, frail body shattering. And that's basically all there is to it. Now that you know how to ride, every single trick will be unlocked. You just have to look at a couple of YouTube videos and imitate what they do, and boom, you'll be able to do anything in that piece of wood. Thank you all for watching. This has been Victor and Cole uh, signing off. Can't wait to see you and uh, absolutely killing those sick tricks. With all this time at home, you probably are spending some of it with your pets. We want to put you and your pets on the morning show. Send us a direct message with a picture of your pet or you and your pet to our Twitter account at GaitherGTV. You might see it on next week's episode. That concludes this special quarantine edition of GTV. We hope our videos help brighten your day. I'm Megan Foley. And I'm Diana Hernandez. GTV will angle in the news again next week. See you soon, cowboys.